the iPhone 14 Pro has probably been my least favorite iPhone that I purchased in the last couple of years. And I feel like this has been very well documented on this channel. And one of the main reasons why among a bunch of things that I made sure to bring up every single time I mentioned the 14 Pro was the battery life. The iPhone 14 Pro's battery life kind of had me questioning why I bought this phone. So in this video, I kind of want to go over what the problem is, what the causes are, and if I think this was something intentionally done by Apple. Now, before I start, I should say that I am doing a giveaway that I announced in my last video. All you got to do is be a subscriber, comment down below with your thoughts and opinions, and also give the video a thumbs up and you're entered. Winner will be announced in four weeks. So good luck everyone. If you ever sold your old iPhone, the number one question that you're gonna get is, what is the battery health? The iPhone, like a lot of technology, has a battery in it. And of course, batteries degrade over time. The iPhone, according to Apple, is designed to retain up to 80% of its original capacity at 500 complete charge cycles. And you're probably wondering, what is a charge cycle? Apple has determined that one charge cycle is equivalent to when 100% of the battery life dies. You might think that you're fine because you never let your iPhone die. That's not what it is. If you charge up your iPhone and let it die to say around 75%, and then the next day you completely let let it die to around 25%, then that would equal 100% and counts to Apple as one charge cycle. Apple assigns a rating to your battery according to how many charge cycles you've already went through. On my iPhone 14 Pro, my battery health is now at around 91%, which is actually pretty ironic because the start of the video, it was at 92, I swear. All right, so we kind of have to get into why this is a problem. Am I safe to assume that you bought your iPhone because you wanted to use it? Well, you can't really use it when it's dead. And if it dies often, like more often than normal, it means you have to charge your iPhone more often, or it means you can be in a situation where it's just no longer reliable because you have to consistently and constantly charge it. Now, one of the main reasons why I upgraded from the iPhone 13 mini is the battery life. So I upgraded expecting to get a really good battery life. I ended up going back to the 13 mini because the iPhone 14 Pro battery just wasn't up to par. The other reason why this sucks is because it means you have to replace your battery quicker on this iPhone, costing you more money in the long run. Speaking of money, if you are somebody that likes to sell your previous iPhones, answering that question about how much is the battery life will start to become a little bit embarrassing. And you're probably thinking that battery health and battery health issues are not something that are exclusive to the iPhone 14 Pro. Like for example, the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 13, maybe their battery is degraded. But the number one problem with the iPhone 14 Pro this time around is that the battery health is draining a lot faster than the previous iPhones. Now let's talk about some of the possible reasons or causes of the iPhone 14's battery being so bad this year compared to previous years. One is that we're using the iPhone too much. And yeah, I don't really use this phone more than I've used any other iPhone. In fact, I probably used it way less than before. I never personally used the always on display on the 14 Pro as well. So I don't think that's it either. One theory that sounds crazy at first, but is probably a very logical thing if you really think about it is, of course, the fact that the earth is getting hotter. I'm not saying that this is the reason, but when I first heard it, I think that was the reason that I leaned towards because yeah, this year, we've definitely had some of the hottest days on record, but I don't think that's it. My theory is much, much more sinister. I think Apple is purposely limiting our battery life so that they can sell more iPhones. A huge selling point for iPhones is its longevity. These things last forever and people usually keep their phones for like four to maybe even five years before even thinking about upgrading because these phones are generally so reliable. We also have Apple kind of struggling to sell phones as of recently, like the 14 plus was definitely a fail. The 13 mini, while I love that phone, was a fail in terms of sales for Apple. They probably are trying to switch up the game plan and sell more phones. How do you do that? You probably can limit the iPhone battery life so that people can start upgrading their phones every year rather than going and buying a new battery and replacing it. A lot of you might be watching this and saying, Apple probably won't do that. Well, I gotta respond and say, I think that they would. Do you remember Battery Gate? That was back in the day when Apple got caught slowing down the iPhone 6 and 7 users' iPhones as the battery aged due to chip issues. They did that to stop the phone from shutting down randomly or just slowing down in general. This was not something that they announced 
or told to their users, they literally just got caught doing it and ended up having to pay a settlement which got cleared only a couple of weeks ago. You really have to think about it. If Apple was really okay with slowing down our iPhones less than five years ago, why would they not intentionally give us a worse battery so that we can continue to upgrade, ensuring that they have profit for years to come? So yeah, that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. If you do have the iPhone 14 Pro, go down below to the comments and let me know what your percentage is at. I kind of want to see where everybody's at. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to enter that $100 Apple or Amazon giveaway. Have a good weekend. Peace.